Hey, what's up, fellas? Marco here, and um, I stepped out for a bit just to, um, to meet up with a friend of mine for a, for a deal. And he happens to own a vape shop that carries Vaporetto, so I picked up Ranchero just to give it a shot. I had dripped it with uh, a couple of friends before, but I could never seem to get around to buying one. I eventually did, and I figured I'd enter it into the contest, but it looks like I'm a day late. I have the bottle, I liked how it tasted, so what the hell, why don't we go ahead and do the video, right? So you guys are going to have to excuse the, the, the noise in the background, my wife's frying dinner uh, a bit early. So um, I'm vaping it on an immortalizer, and we're going to go ahead and give it a few drips. I've, um, I've wet the cotton a bit, but yeah, just to make sure nobody says I'm bullshitting anyone. Uh, yeah, about five drops should do. The cotton's still pretty soaked. I'm vaping it um, sub arm so it might burn out in, in a bit. Let's just see how it goes. All right. Well, no wonder they have that tagline, got cojones. Uh, you're going to need pretty big ones if you're going to vape this stuff. The, um, the throat hit is massive. I got mine in low. I believe it's at 6 mg for, for low nicotine. They were all out of stock for, for, um, for medium. But low is kicking me like it's uh, li like medium from other juice brands out there. Um, the, the throat hit is definitely there. And not just because I'm vaping it on, um, on an immortalizer. I think it's, um, it's just the way they make it. I don't know what nicotine they use, but whatever it is, it's some pretty solid stuff. Uh, I'm liking how the um, the draw doesn't um, doesn't hurt in an offensive way, but it gives you that 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 nasty tingle right there. It's not the uh, the kind of throat hit in which your your throat gets a bit scratchy and it's a real pain in the ass. This one is more of what you would get if you were smoking the real thing. Now, um, for the taste, well, Ranchero is well, it's one of their tobacco-based blends um, apparently, but the uh, the the more prominent notes in it for me are the leafy or the woody type of um, of, of of notes. I'm getting that that nice um, bitter taste in my mouth for it. It is I wouldn't say it's an overly sweet tobacco mix, which I actually like. I'm not a fan of the milky or creamy stuff, although I, I've tried some of them before. This would give you a, um, a reasonably close approximation to the real thing, and uh, that is a big deal for me. I was able to quit smoking a while back, but then I regressed, and now I'm, I'm hoping to be able to, to get this going straight. Now, um, in terms of vapor output, as you can see, it was vaping pretty decently. I'm on a microcoil single um, on an AFC with two air holes dilated, so um, that may account for the airier draw. But you know, notwithstand, uh, I'm sorry, notwithstanding that fact, I'm still um, I'm still getting a very reasonable um, level of throat hit and a very respectable amount of vapor output. Check it out. So. There you go. I don't know whether it's a 50-50 mix. I don't know if we have it listed here or 60-40. No, it doesn't say. But it says the components of this liquid are 100% made in the USA. And I have to believe them because the uh, throat hit is unlike any of the local juices I've sampled. There, there are a lot that would boast of, um, of their throat hit or their, um, their quality or their approximation to the real thing, to analogs. But uh, this is about as close as I've legitimately come. In fact, I've... Um, I'm considering loading it up on a K fund right after I, <laughs> right after I um, drain what's uh, what's left in it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a bit of a talk through on the the, the Cadena drip dip as well, so you guys can check that out too. But um, yeah, Ranchero by Vaporetto, really killer stuff. 350 SRP for a 20 ml bottle, sealed when you get it. Nice packaging they got there. Check it out. Yeah, I'm sold on the packaging. Yeah, it doesn't look local to me. It doesn't taste local either, so it's really good stuff. Um, they they should have a list of their shops uh, on their Facebook page, or you can easily contact the uh, the owners over on Facebook. You could also um, order online. They have a website which I'm going to include in the um, the description of the video. They have other flavors out there. I wasn't able to pick them all up because I was a bit strapped for cash, but I intend to, and uh, we're going to do a talk through on those as well, just for kicks. So um, thank you very much, and uh, hope you guys. Have some fun with Ranchero. Cheers. Stay part.